Hi everyone, welcome to Wish Problem. So in this video, we will be looking at analytical geometry, AM8, class 8, from the 10th question of Pearl Packet. So let's begin. So the question says that 10th question, theta is the angle between the lines 3x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Then we have to find the cos theta for this. Now, how do we find that? Now, general equations, you take this. A1x plus B, sorry, plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. And A2x plus B2y plus C1 is equal to 0. Now, now we all do, uh, know this, right? These are the standard forms for the line. Now, by these formulas, you, can, uh, you are able to identify the A1 and A2 b1 b2 c1 c2 in this two formulas right so now let's see that now this is a1 so this is a1 will be 3 here the coefficient of x right so a1 is equal to 3 now b1 here y coefficient is 1 when nothing is there it is going to be 1 and what is the coefficient of c that is uh, sorry the constant value is the co that is c1 it is minus 4 now coming to the a2 part a2 the coefficient of x in the second line is 1 that is a2 will be 1 now b2 is the coefficient of y so there it is 3 and c2 will be the co uh, the constant value as i said so it is minus 4 Right, now what we are going to do, we are going to put it in a formula. That formula I will write for the screen. So, this is the formula for cos theta. Okay, now all these values we are having, right? You can see the values here. Now, just what is what is the work we have to do? Put these values in the given formula. So, just do, do it. So, I have substituted the values of A1, A2 in this given uh, formula. Now we have to solve this. So 3 once is how much? As you know, it is 3. And then 1, 3 is also 3. Divided by 3 square plus 1 square is 9 plus 1 is 10. So root 10. And in the same similar way, you are also root 10. Yeah. Now 3 plus 3 is 6. And root 2 into root 2. Sorry, root 10 into root 10 is 10. So, now when we want to find out when uh, cos theta, you can even simplify this, right? So, uh, 2 3's and 2 5's. So, therefore, the cos theta of this is 3 by 5. Okay? So, looking at 11th question, lines 2x plus 3y plus 3 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 and 5x plus y is equal to 6. Between these two angles, there is an acute angle. Okay? Between these two lines, there lies one acute angle. So, we have to find the particular acute angle. Okay. So, generally, what is the format of the line? This is the format. So, I have already written and in the previous question, we have already discussed. So, that's why no need to explain my hope. Now, as it is, in the previous question, how we did, what is, a, what is A1? A1 is the coefficient of x of the first line. That is, A1 will be 2, B1 will be 3, and what is C1? There is no constant term, but when you are sending, when you are sending this positive 5 to LHS, it will become negative 5, right? So, that will be consider, coming under the consider, consideration because that is the format of the line, right? So, this 5 will be going to LHS in order to make 0 here, okay? So, what is C1? Minus 5. In a similar manner, let's do for this second line also. First, A2 is equal to 5. B2 is equal to, there is no coefficient here. There is no number in the sense. It is 1 and in similar way for uh, c2 also it is like c it is same like how we found it for c1 how it so this 6 will be moving to lhs right so it will become minus 6 now all the values are in front and the formula i'll be telling you and then we can move on 
so which formula generally you think we have to use obviously cos theta as already we have used for the previous question so let's write the cos theta formula so you can now view the formula even you can also see the values now what you will do just substitute all these values which have been found out into the given formula so i have already substituted the values here now to 5 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 then <clears throat> below you could see that 2 square plus 3 square right so 2 square is 4 4 plus 9 that is root 13 and then other root of 5 square is 25 25 plus 1 is 26 right so now this 13 it can be written as root 13 into root 13 you know why right already so many videos we have learned this and root 13 was there as it is and root 26 is also there so now what you can do cancel out 13 right now what will be will be left out with root 13 by root 26 is the left out part now you can observe like already we know that when root is given for both the numbers here you can observe right you can just put it as whole the root of 13 by 26 there is an identity we have been learning since our childhood from high school right so now by this now 13 and 2 is there 13 ones 13 twos right so now my root over 1 is also 1 only so it will be 1 divided by and root 2 will be there now until here just note it now cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2 was as we found it here right that is the value i have written now what to do 1 by root 2 is also called is the cos 45 value also remember okay now you have to go back to trigonometry now cos cos will get cancelled and theta value is 45 in the previous question we had to just find out the uh, cos that's why we just kept it in such a way but here we have to find theta okay so this is all the question about the question but in the options when you observe you don't find such a answer now answer is c now i'll tell you why pi by 4 is the option given now 180 by 4 what is the answer obviously 45 so pi value is 180 degree according to angles so that is the answer now in this 12th question they have mentioned that two lines are perpendicular to each other and they are asking us to find the value of k as you can see now as you know what is the standard form of lines when there are two lines given to us these two are the standard forms for them now when the lines are perpendicular to each other now generally you'll be thinking of the slopes slopes of for them will be the product of slopes will be minus one right so when you are able to find the slopes what will happen you can easily find out the value of k because in that value like in that slope you will be needing the value of uh, k right here b value will be needed so that time you can easily find out the value of k now first and foremost thing finding the slopes so let's find out the slopes for first equation first uh, line so here i have already mentioned so clearly slope 1 is nothing but negative minus of the coefficient of x here what is the coefficient of x it is 3 but it is also mentioned that it is negative so negative 3 divided by coefficient of y what is the coefficient of y minus k so the similar thing we are going to write it here so that part is clear i am thinking next m2 slope 2 how you how to find that similar formula only first is negative coefficient of x is 2 so minus 2 divided by sorry coefficient of y that is 1 in that given uh, given line right so now what we have to write after that you should specify that given lines are what they are they are perpendicular okay so when they are perpendicular as i told the slopes the product of slopes will be minus one right so now 
just substituting that m1 and m2 values here first is 3 by k you have to substitute in the value of m1 because see minus and minus will get cancelled right so 3 by k you can write it and m2 is minus 2 by 1 which is also minus 2 only that will be equal to minus 1 now what we are going to do here is just send this minus 2 to rhs and later you can even send this 3 to rhs fine or i'll send that k to rhs it is more simple calculation won't be there now it will be minus k k will go to rhs and become minus k because minus 1 into k is minus k and now my 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 now minus minus cancel and k value is 6 which is option d now 13th question is just the other way round there it was parallel sorry there it was perpendicular and now it is parallel so we have to find the value of k so slopes first main thing you have to find the slopes now slopes for m1 it is going to be minus 2 by k just now formulas i have given right just using that formulas i am going to find this and m2 is minus 5 by 2 now given that given that lines are parallel right they mentioned in the question so they are parallel when lines are parallel m1 is equal to m2 that's why we are finding out the slopes or else there is no need right now just putting this m1 and m2 in their places minus 2 by k is equal to minus 5 by 2 now minus minus will get cancelled when they are on same our like opposite sides of the equal symbol and when you solve it simplification is your part just cross multiply okay you will be getting the answer that k value will be 4 by 5 that is option b sorry okay next question now 14th to 16th questions are passage based questions so first to 14th but we will see so here they are telling that l1 is equal to 0 l2 is equal to 0 they are parallel to each other then what is the condition which it has to satisfy that is the correct condition they are asking so it is option b is the correct condition because a1 by a2 should be equal to b1 by b2 but should not be equal to c1 by c2 okay there is no explanation for this now in this 15th question the case is like l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 they are perpendicular then what is the correct condition they are asking so that is option c okay a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 will be equal to 0 is the correct conditions required to satisfy now 16th question l1 is equal to 0 l2 is equal to 0 they are oh sorry coincident through each other then what is the correct condition to be satisfied is b condition has to be satisfied so what is the condition which is specified there is a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 that is equal equal to c1 by c2 so this is the condition now with this we have completed our pearl package so in the next video we will be looking at the emerald package okay so thanks for watching our video do like share and subscribe to wish problems bye